what's up giants fans hub watchers youtube and rumble subscribers twitter and instagram followers it's kush back at again with another giants update video and this one we're going to talk about is a little bit about the daniel jones situation his injury how that's going what the outlook for the rest of the season is and of course this sunday against the chargers who our starting quarterback will be before i hop right into it though first shout out to symbol the sponsor for this video uh, you guys should know them by now they've been here for around a month symbol is of course the stock market for sports fans you take your sports knowledge you invest your money hopefully based off of that you could make some more money with the code hub hub you could uh have basically a risk-free deposit of up to 500 dollars meaning that if you lose any of that money you will get it back or you know if it just doesn't work out you will get it back up to 500 dollars great deal by symbol here using the code hub i will put it right here on the video right now and a quick look at my symbol portfolio i still am only with the giants <laughs> and uh not a smart decision i'll admit because the giants have been nothing but terrible since uh joining the symbol market they've only gone down there was a brief time where they like peaked a little bit but right now they're right around 31 dollars a share uh, i think when i when i bought in they were around 34 so that's uh that's always nice <laughs> but um in terms of going around the league for example of course the patriots have been on a seven game winning streak and we saw what they did last night on monday night football where they beat the buffalo bills and took the first seed place in the afc they're up to around 47 dollars a share so if anybody was in the patriots they just made a big big uh gain on their money and of course symbol isn't just part of the nfl they have the sim nba nhl college football and even mlb as well so guys head over to www wow i can't speak www.symbol.app and definitely join it but now getting over to the giants right here all right so quickly the carpenter i've spoken about this guy on streams i haven't really put it in a video uh, for those of you that don't know a quick explanation i feel like i've said this a million times already last monday at 7 p.m when daniel jones was you know basically ruled out of the dolphins game there was a guy five hours earlier that said this would happen before the press and the media did basically before it was officially released by the giants this dude is a carpenter for the maras <laughs> and all this means is that the maras just be talking about their business around their workers as if i don't know the workers are not giants fans or people with access to total twitter and whatnot either way five hours before the news was officially released this carpenter put it out on twitter that daniel jones will be out for sunday and the giants are going to try and play it off as if he's questionable but he's really out and then he went on to say that he's actually out for the entire season and they're going to try to play that off as well and of course in the week since then we've seen exactly that happen the giants try to play off daniel jones being out on sunday for a while until they officially ruled him out again on i think it was thursday before the game and now we're sitting here we know he's not going to start this sunday and it, they're trying to say that he's questionable for you know the next couple of weeks but there's only so many weeks left in the season there's like five he may very well be out for the season so whoever this carpenter guy is seems to really have overheard some sensitive information and well speaking of the quarterback position that's what we're seeing right now where jake Fromm is slated to start this sunday because mike glennon is in concussion protocol we're of course even in a worse situation because our quarterback coach who should be helping from make this transition from a guy that was literally added to the practice squad and to our team just a couple days ago he knows so little about this offense that quarterback coach was supposed to be there to help him but jerry shaplinski has some type has a covid test a positive covid test so we don't even know how this man is going to be involved in helping that transition period i mean we're in a really tough situation right now you literally got a quarterback who's been here for a couple days and who at the college level needed a strong offensive line and honestly the reason jake Fromm was successful at georgia was because of the players around him no disrespect to Fromm, but i mean there's a reason he went in the fifth round and there's a reason he's like a backup quarterback which this brings on another tangent i'm not sure why giants fans are so excited to see him part of me thinks it's just because they want to see another quarterback out there for the sake of seeing another quarterback uh regardless of that he's not gonna do well there's a lot of factors going against him here you're missing a quarterbacks coach you've only been in the offense for a couple of weeks the offensive line is not nearly as good as it should be for a guy of his talent and caliber to be successful and our weapons are all but injured i got a couple quotes here from the new york post article that i'm kind of looking at this right now on jake and let me just read them out to you the plan right now is for jake to continue in his role head coach joe judge said 
we have a lot of contingencies, whether it's the COVID contingency or the uncertainty in terms of the other quarterbacks. We're taking it. We're talking internally about a lot of options right now, personnel wise, scheme it up to see what we can do to address and make sure we're building the in depth for multiple for a multitude of reasons. Fromm isn't an unknown. The 2020 fifth round draft pick of the Bills was a three year starter who led Georgia into the 2018 college football national championship game and held off Jacob Eason, the Colts backup, and Justin Fields, the Bears rookie starter and first round pick in quarterback competitions before they both transferred to other schools. But Sunday marked his first NFL regular season game in uniform. He's drinking through a fire hose right now, Chaplinsky said last week in form of Fromm's learning curve. When you go from Daniel to Mike, you want to push and stay as close to the offense as you possibly can. And when you expect them to go out there and execute the game plan, Judd said. For a guy who's only been in your system for a couple of days, you got to select more of a menu of what he can operate in. And that's not always limiting based on his ability. It's just based on being new in a scheme. And of course, once again, going back to Mike Glennon's concussion, uh, I don't know if they're going to try and rush Mike Glennon back. It's not necessarily like with Daniel Jones where he's your starter. And whenever Daniel has a concussion, it seems like he's back the next week, which I always say. You guys have heard me say it here in a video form and in stream form. I really don't like. I don't think it's smart. But with Glennon, they're not going to do that. They're not going to force him back. And concussion timelines are different for every player either way. But as of right now, Fromm is going to be who we're seeing on Sunday, you just heard it from the coaches' mouths themselves. Chaplinski says it's like learning, you know, drinking from a fire hose, meaning he's getting a whole bunch of information at once, and there's not really a, an efficient or good way to parse through all that information. Even Judge is saying that there's going to be a major difference going from your uh, your starter to your backup. And of course, we got to remember this is all within the Giants and their problems that they have right now with the offense. We have an offense that it seems like can't score more than 11 points a game. And now we're going to our third string quarterback who's never started an NFL game in his life. It's it's not a recipe for success. This offense is struggling. And I'm going to be honest, whether you like Daniel Jones or not, in terms of the quarterback position right now, he's our best option. And unfortunately, he's out. <laughs> so I'm not sure what we're going to expect this Sunday from this offense. Uh, of course, in terms of the season, that's a whole lot of conversation. Hopefully, most Giants fans can see it's going to be very, 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 very unrealistic. And, you know, all those varies uh, improbable for the Giants to make any type of run or hope to be in the playoffs as of right now. Just play the chips as they lie. Hopefully, when the offseason gets here, we'll be talking about something better and getting some players to help out this team. But you guys, let me know what you think. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, I want to see how y'all feel. Are any of you here? Were any of you the guys that were very excited to see Jake Fromm? Um, once again, like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with just wanting to see another quarterback out there not named Daniel Jones. Out of way, definitely chat about it down below. That's it for now. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.